Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to basically walk you through the process that I do with my videos. And you can kind of take this idea and do it for yourself. And I'm actually gonna leave a link to the ranking uh, product that I actually use when it comes to uh, getting the organic rankings through Google and YouTube. So the first step is camera, you know, you shoot a video. That's all I do right now is I shoot the video and you'll see here I have three that are uploaded into my Google Drive. And what I do is I have a video editor who's awesome at what he does and he goes through and he, you know, adds the intro. He cuts things up so that they move slow, slowly, like they, you know, transition nicely, all of that. And you'll see here there's the bare uploads, just the default names. And then I have a finished video section. You'll see here I have one that was finished. Uh, this actually, I, I took it out before deciding to record this video, which I kind of mistake doing now because I wanted to do the video to show you the exact process. But you'll see it's right here. All I did was, you know, download it. And the first thing that I did was I went over to YouTube and I, uh, to upload a video on YouTube, you click that little icon, go to upload video and I'll show you that this is the exact process. <laughs> okay, so then you select files to upload and you'll see this file right here is the one that I actually have in the other image. So I'm gonna cancel this and go back to it. And you'll see here the title of this particular video is how to increase average cart value. So what it does is it teaches people the process of increasing your cart value by using a sales funnel. So it's, you know, pretty short video. I think it's like four minutes or something. Um, but the first thing I did was upload it to YouTube and you'll notice I changed it from public to unlisted. And the reason for that is because we're going to actually take this video here where it says your video will be live at and we'll copy that. And we're going to go to rev.com. That's R E V.com. And you're going to have to like sign up, put your credit card data in, uh, and then we're going to go to place new order. And you can do transcription, captions, subtitles, or translation. And what I usually do is the transcription. And transcription just takes the uh, audio that's from the video and it like turns it into a uh, written word. So it's kind of like the dragon talk to text type of thing. So what we'll do is share a link to a public web address, paste a URL, and I'm gonna do that. And I'm actually gonna add a bunch more um, cause I have, I think like 15 videos that I need to get the transcription put up on because I forgot to do it. Um, but all you gotta do next is click on add and it'll get, gather some stuff and I'm finished and okay. So it's a three minute video. So three minutes, a dollar per minute, three bucks. That's all it is. Three bucks to get that video transcribed. Saves you a ton of time. You can do it yourself if you want to. I don't like wasting the time to do it because it would take me like 15 minutes to pause the video and go back and you know go through the whole process. It's much easier for someone else to do it for me. Uh, the next thing, I have the video cut a little shorter to be used on Facebook. And you'll see here, I have the video right here already posted on Facebook. And you can vary the time that it's distributed. Like you can take the YouTube video and have that put up first. You can have the Facebook video put up first, play around with the way you like it. Um, all that really matters is that the consumer, the person like your prospect is going to see the content and, you know, interact with it at some point. And like I mentioned in another video, you can take that one video that you shot and turn it into a ton of different uh, content sources like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Vimeo, like there's a lot of different video platforms that you can distribute stuff on. Uh, let's see, we'll do, I'm actually going to open up another thing to show you one other option that I actually do. So where it was downloads, how to increase average cart value. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to go, this is just QuickTime player. So we'll go to export as, and we'll do audio only, how to increase average cart value podcast. So what this does is it's going to take the audio specifically from this video and just get it and put it in one place for me. 
and that should be right here. So I can go to, and I use anchor.fm for the like podcast distribution. So you'll see here, I'm going to go to upload audio and I'm just gonna drag the audio over that. Once it turns green, you'll see here, uh, publisher episode pops up and I'm gonna label this episode 11. And what was the name of this? We'll go to get info. Well, it looks like an issue with something. So we'll try that again. And we will, let me see, upload so pre-recorded audio. So it's there, save episode, episode 11, how to increase average card value. And you'll see here, it's very easy to do. Like I just logged on to anchor.fm, logged in, clicked publish, and then the episode will be published. So you can put a little description here which is recommended. Uh, so right off the bat, you've got YouTube, you've got Facebook, and now you have podcasting. And what this does is it distributes to uh, Spotify, I think iTunes, and maybe one other source. Um, I'm not sure. You should always, okay, Spotify, Anchor, iOS, and other. So there's a couple different platforms just for that. I'll look available on seven platforms. So there's different distribution channels specifically uh, for just the audio of it. So the next step is to, what I like to do is take the title and go to my actual blog. And this is my website, the property that I own that I always send people back through. And I will turn this into a blog post. So we'll see if we can get the embed code. And we will copy this, show player controls. Um, Okay, so we'll copy this embed code and we'll place that into WordPress. And you'll see here that pops up and shows as available. And then of course you need to, you know, select your appropriate categories and tags and get featured images and stuff like that uh, and do all of the SEO stuff on your specific website. I'm gonna save this for now because what I'm gonna do is once Rev gets back to me, with the transcription, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna plug it into this particular uh, blog post and optimize it. So it's gonna have, uh, for the person who comes in and they watch the video, maybe they don't like seeing me on camera and they just wanna read, they'll be able to go through and read the actual uh, full post. Okay, so what else can you do with this? Well, you can turn this into a, uh, like a meme. So we'll see here if I can get a picture where I don't look crazy. And you can have someone do this for you. Like um, this is a good one for a thumbnail to use. So I'm gonna screenshot this, how to increase average cart value. And this was done by my video editor guy. Um, so let's see, where did that picture go? Right here. So we'll change the name of this, how to increase average cart value and we will optimize the size of this 1200 by 628 is the Facebook size and I usually just use that for everything um, then another thing you can do is let's see um, This could actually be used as a, uh, like a Pinterest image or a Twitter picture. And we can go to Twitter and take that picture. You'll see here, we'll post that. And we can share that with the, we can either distribute that from the uh, podcast link or the YouTube link. We'll do a YouTube link right now just to kind of send some some traffic there prior to it actually being live. 
Okay, so what was the title? It was how to increase average cart value. And this is all stuff that you can do yourself, or you can have someone step in and do this for you. But what this is doing is this is sending a backlink from Twitter over to YouTube, and the video is unlisted right now, so it doesn't show up publicly, but uh, it can be viewed if you send someone directly to the link. And after that, what you'll want to do is always like your own thing because people tend to follow th what the rest of the people are doing. Like if you see a video that has like a couple hundred likes or comments or shares, you're more likely to comment on it. So the easiest way to do that is to kind of get the ball rolling by doing it yourself. And what I usually do is I'll also leave a comment here. What have about increasing your average card value? Did I spell that wrong? I think I did. Increasing your average card value. Okay, so after that, this way you're you're kind of triggering, you're getting people to they see that someone else liked it, so they're more likely to. And you've opened up the conversation. Like, what questions do you have about increasing your average cart value? The video is about that. So it's a relevant comment, something that someone can use. So if this seems a little overwhelming, that's fine. You can go back and watch this video over and over again to kind of copy this whole technique. Um, so basically the next step for this, here we can actually show you another another thing that you can use because you can put this you can turn this into an Instagram post and I used canva.com for this so you'll see here Instagram post and we'll do we'll see if we can find a Pinterest one as well Pinterest graphic okay so for Instagram you know you can select like this one and then I'll just drag the picture the one that I took from the actual thing over here, and then it'll pop up as uh, an uploaded image. You'll see I use this pretty often. Okay, so we'll just drag this over. Uh, it doesn't look like it fits. So maybe we'll, we won't use that picture. Maybe we'll get a different one. Did I take two pictures from that video? No. Okay, so how about this one? We'll see if that one works a little better. Um, so you'll see just how easy this actually is. Your average cart value. ACB. And I mean, this is a very simple template right now. Like, I, it's better to have someone who's good with graphics go through and do this. And I'm not good with graphics, as you can see. But we can, uh, we'll put this over here. Maybe we can align. Nope. Okay, so see, I'm not good with graphics. So this is something I shouldn't be doing. But it's just something that I wanted to show you how simple it was. Let's make this bigger. Looks like the text is too big. That works. So see, just like that, I created a pretty simple image that could be used on Instagram. And then you can take that image and link, you know, tell people to click the link in your bio to watch the video. Uh, the same thing can be done with Pinterest. So let's pick another template here. How about this one? And then, oh, where did that image go? I need to refresh it. Okay, so we'll take the image from there and we can just copy the same exact content. Um, and you can see just how marketing game, like you can see just how easy that was to create. It didn't take 
that long. Um, I gotta charge this, gotta plug it in. Okay, but you can see just how simple it was to create a Pinterest image and an Instagram one. And you can do this with YouTube thumbnails too. So if you want to create your own YouTube thumbnails, Canva also works really good for that. So we'll click this one, we'll use uploads, and we'll change the text here, Chris Hughes. Um, and I'm not gonna use this one, but I wanted to show you just how simple it was to create these. So you can like, see I just made a simple, here we'll add a background so it looks a little easier. Shapes, color, we'll do this and we'll change it to like a gray. And we'll arrange, put it behind. There you go. So, I mean, it's not a makeup video, <laughs> but you get the idea. Like, increase cart value. Changing the sizes. And this is not what I'm going to be using, but you can see just how easy it is. And then you just download it, and then you'll have a specific thumbnail for your video that will get clicked more often. And as you saw earlier, I already had um, this one that I liked because it was from the video that my editor did. So it doesn't require me to get another image created. Um, but right off the bat, you've got, let's see, YouTube thumbnails, that's one, Pinterest image, two, Instagram, three, a YouTube video, that's four, uh, Twitter content, that's five, a podcast episode, that's six, seven, eight, I mean, up to 10 if you distribute it, Facebook, that's 11, a blog post, a written transcription of it, so you can use this for a ton of different things, as well as the YouTube video. And like I mentioned at the beginning, it all started with a camera or your smartphone, whatever it is that you're using to record these videos. But if you wanna learn more about this process, if you have other questions, ask in the comment section down below. This video is really just meant to be used as a kind of guide so that you can you know, watch it over and over again and apply what you're learning. I do have other resources that'll help with making sure things uh, you know, get more visibility because you still have to plug, you still should be using paid advertising to get more people, your ideal clients to watch your videos, to consume your content. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe for more videos. I'm actually going to show you how to do that. And wait, I'll do it on this video. So all you got to do is click on, ah, there will be a subscribe button there. I'll have to go into incognito mode. So underneath this video, you should have a subscribe button and then like it, like it again, and leave a comment. And click on the little bell icon, ding. So that way you get notified when I put up new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.